Apixaban, a drug that has revolutionized the management of thromboembolic disorders, stands as a testament to the advances in medical science aimed at improving patient outcomes. In this comprehensive exploration, I delve into the multifaceted aspects of apixaban, from its common applications and benefits to the nuances of its potential adverse effects, recommended dosages, and inherent risks. This video aims to provide an insightful overview for healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone interested in understanding the critical role of this medication in contemporary medicine. Introduction to Apixaban The journey of Apixaban began as a response to the need for safer, more effective anticoagulant medications. Traditional anticoagulants, while effective, posed significant risks and limitations, prompting the development of newer agents like Apixaban. As a direct oral anticoagulant, DOAC, apixaban inhibits factor AXA, a critical enzyme in the coagulation cascade, thereby preventing clot formation. Its introduction marked a significant milestone in anticoagulant therapy, offering benefits such as reduced risk of bleeding complications and the convenience of fixed dosing without the need for routine monitoring. Common uses of apixaban. Apixaban's primary use is in the prevention and treatment of thromboembolic disorders. It has been a game-changer in the management of atrial fibrillation AF, a common cardiac arrhythmia associated with an increased risk of stroke. By preventing clot formation, apixaban significantly lowers the risk of stroke in patients with non-valvular AF. Additionally, it is employed in the treatment of deep vein thrombosis DVT, and pulmonary embolism PE, conditions characterized by the formation of blood clots in the veins and lungs, respectively. Moreover, apixaban is utilized for the prevention of DVT and PE in patients undergoing hip or knee replacement surgery, highlighting its versatility across various clinical scenarios. Benefits of apixaban The benefits of apixaban extend beyond its efficacy in preventing and treating thromboembolic events. One of the most significant advantages is its safety profile particularly in terms of bleeding risk. Compared to traditional anticoagulants, apixaban is associated with a lower risk of major bleeding, a critical concern in anticoagulant therapy. Furthermore, its predictable pharmacokinetics eliminates the need for routine INR monitoring, a requirement with warfarin, thereby simplifying treatment and improving patient convenience and compliance. Additionally, apixaban's fewer dietary and drug interactions offer a more straightforward approach to anticoagulation, enabling a broader range of patients to benefit from its use. Potential Adverse Effects of Apixaban Despite its benefits, apixaban is not without potential adverse effects. Bleeding remains the most significant risk, albeit at a lower rate compared to other anticoagulants. This includes minor bleeding, such as from the gums or nose, to more serious events like gastrointestinal or intracranial hemorrhages. It's crucial for patients and healthcare providers to be aware of the signs of bleeding and to manage risk factors proactively. Other less common side effects may include nausea, allergic reactions, and liver enzyme elevations, necessitating vigilance in monitoring and management. Dosage Recommendations for Apixaban the dosing of apixaban is tailored to the specific condition being treated, as well as patient-specific factors such as kidney function, body weight, and concomitant medications. For instance, in the prevention of stroke in AF patients, a standard dose is typically prescribed, but adjustments may be necessary for those with renal impairment or other considerations. Similarly, for the treatment of DVT and PE, a higher initial dose is followed by a maintenance dose, reflecting the acute nature of these conditions. Adherence to the recommended dosing regimen is paramount to balance efficacy and safety, underscoring the importance of personalized medicine in anticoagulant therapy. Dangers of apixaban The use of apixaban, while beneficial, is not without dangers. The risk of bleeding, although lower, is a serious concern that requires careful patient selection and monitoring. In scenarios where anticoagulation needs to be reversed due to surgery or a bleeding event, the options are more limited and complex compared to vitamin K antagonists like warfarin. Furthermore, in patients with mechanical heart valves or significant mitral stenosis, apixaban is contraindicated due to a lack of evidence and potential for harm. These considerations highlight the need for a judicious approach in the use of apixaban, balancing its benefits against the risks. Comparison with other anticoagulant medications 
When comparing apixaban with other anticoagulants, several factors come to light. Unlike warfarin, apixaban does not require frequent blood monitoring, dietary restrictions, or have as many drug interactions, offering a more patient-friendly option. Compared to other DOACs, such as rivaroxaban or dabigatran, apixaban consistently demonstrates a favorable balance between efficacy and safety, particularly concerning bleeding risk. However, the choice of anticoagulant is complex and should consider patient-specific factors, including the risk of thromboembolic and bleeding events, patient preferences, and cost considerations. Precautions and considerations when using apixaban. The use of apixaban necessitates a comprehensive approach to patient care. Pre-treatment assessment should include a thorough evaluation of bleeding risk, renal function, and potential drug interactions. During therapy, patients should be educated on the importance of adherence to dosing schedules and monitoring for signs of bleeding or thrombosis. Additionally, considerations for perioperative management and the approach to reversing anticoagulation in emergencies are integral components of patient care. Engaging patients in their treatment plan and ensuring clear communication are critical for optimizing outcomes with apixaban therapy. How to take apixaban? Taking apixaban correctly is paramount for its effectiveness and safety. It is typically administered orally, with or without food, and adherence to the prescribed dosing schedule is crucial. Patients should be advised against missing doses or doubling up on doses if one is missed, as this can alter the balance between efficacy and safety. Understanding the medication's action, potential side effects, and the importance of regular follow-up appointments can empower patients to take an active role in their treatment, contributing to better health outcomes. Conclusion and Final Thoughts on Apixaban In conclusion, Apixaban represents a significant advancement in the management of thromboembolic disorders. Its benefits, including a favorable safety profile and ease of use, make it a valuable option in anticoagulant therapy. However, its use requires careful consideration of the potential risks and a personalized approach to patient care. By understanding the common uses, benefits, potential adverse effects, dosage recommendations, and dangers associated with apixaban, healthcare professionals and patients can navigate the complexities of anticoagulation therapy more effectively. As our knowledge and experience with apixaban continue to grow, it will undoubtedly remain a cornerstone in the prevention and treatment of thromboembolic diseases. In the realm of medical advancements and patient care, the story of apixaban is a compelling chapter, illustrating the progress in developing safer, more effective treatments. As we move forward, continued research and clinical experience will further define its role and enhance our ability to improve patient outcomes in the complex landscape of anticoagulation therapy.